So today my project is to replace a thermostat on my John Deere generator, the one that didn't explode. Uh, it's getting weird coolant fluctuations uh, or temperature fluctuations and um, it's getting a little hot. So my first thought is it might be this. This is a really simple device. It's in most engines and uh, the way it works is inside this little uh, copper tube is wax. When it, it expands, it pushes, there's a little pin right here, it actually pushes this valve open that way. That's what the spring is to we'll push it back closed. Um, we'll cut the old one open to look inside it and uh, maybe see what's wrong. Uh, but these are in everything. Actually, really, really new fancy engines don't even have these anymore. They have electric water pumps that control how much cooling goes into the engine with the speed of the pump. But conventional engines and old engines, new engines, they all have these. Super simple, very reliable. The one flaw is that people forget is uh, if you overheat your engine severely, like get it way over temperature, the wax in here will push out the seal. There's a little tiny seal in here and um, it won't work anymore. Uh, so if you overheat your engine substantially, you have to replace these first thing. It might still work, but it won't work as well. Um, so if it gets too hot, do these. Um, these are pretty standard, but we buy the uh, John Deere brand for twice the money because God forbid you go buy a GM or whatever. It's, they're all the same. Um, this one opens up at 83 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, slightly less than boiling in American numbers. They're all, you know, this exact same design. So we're going to go swap this out. I have a, a O ring and some uh, gaskets that go on a tube that goes around the uh, block. And uh, I'll go do this real quick. It shouldn't take very long. This one's an older style, but it works the same. You've got a plunger that moves up and down. That's what the gasket's for. And uh, it starts here at the bottom. And as it expands, it moves like that. It allows water to, it's sealed up. And then as it moves, the water will go up through it. So like this is sealing up a, like a hole, all right? hot water is trying to go through and it diverts one way 
when this opens up, it closes one valve and then water comes in and through it the other direction. So it's like having a Y pipe. It selects which direction it wants to go. It wants to recirculate hot water or send the hot water to go and get cooled off. Now, this black stuff that leaked out of it is uh, the wax, it's some sort of high temperature wax. Um, that's the beauty of these things and their simplicity. Uh, it no power or anything, so it all leaked out when I cut into it. So, pull this piece out. You can see kind of in there the little piston. I'm doing a bad job of showing this, but there's not a lot in there that does the little tiny bit that pushes this out. Because uh, fluid's incompressible, but it expands when it gets hot. So that's the idea is that this turns into a liquid and it pushes this piston. Actually, I guess it pushes, yeah, it pushes the piston this way against the spring and it moves this piece. So, anyway, that's how these work. They're super simple. They're in everything. Big engines have big ones, really big engines don't have really big ones, they just have lots of the, those bigger ones. There's uh, four of these things about the size of a soda can in the main engines up, up on top. And then there's another two for the after cooler, same size, about the size of a soda can. But, uh, that's it, this is a thermostat or a regulator, depending on uh, the manufacturer. But they all do the same thing, they regulate the temperature. So that's it, that's all we have for today. Thank you.